Bar Kang Hu the Dao Watch, the one that she can do review the Ash. And welcome back to another episode of the HYP, aka the House of YouTubers podcast, with myself, Osmani and Belo, aka Mr. IBB, alongside the Broski Kalin Abubakar, and Fatima. Wait, hold on. Fatima is not alone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you we, guys, we present we, to you H. <laughs> The hate <laughs> of hate and how are finally hello everybody <laughs> welcome to the hyp how are you doing i'm doing fine thank you thank you for having me and us <laughs> i mean we have to say we have to thank you to Fatima for bringing you to london to make this happen <laughs> <laughs> just for this all right just for this <laughs> It was a perfect opportunity. We had to take it. Right. <laughs> it's like we see the player. Give him the contract. Give him the amount of money he wants. Sign in. Done. Okay. We'll have to pay her for this now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kale, you you still have my checkbook ready, right? Yeah. What? You have my checkbook ready. Your checkbook. Yeah, my checkbook. Like your. Where they write the amount and how much oh, you're yeah. going to put. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. We'll have that ready. Don't worry. We're better. Don't worry. We are very legit. Anyway, we have to also pay for her flight ticket and everything, you know. Hey. <laughs> yeah, right? All right, okay, okay. Okay, we'll get that closer. No problem. <laughs> anyway, before we get in, we just have to say welcome everybody to the new year and new decade of 2020. The 2010 decade has ended. And actually. Oh. I'm actually surprised that this decade has actually has started because it felt like we've been in the 2010 decade for quite a long time. Sway. We're up there, <laughs> basically. Literally. Like, do you remember where you were in 2010? Vividly. <laughs> do you? Do I remember? We were. We were. We were here just before we decided to return to Nigeria in 2010. That's where we spent the next four years. Uh, that, that, that was my first time going to Nigeria. I believe that was your third. First. No, third. Yeah, actually, it was my first. Your first. Yeah. Anyways, before we get on to talk about the decades, since we have Hawaii here, here's one fact. She is the first guest. Oh, wow. Yes, the <laughs> first ever guest. Yeah, fun fact, fun fact. She made history. <laughs> history has been made. Now, yeah. since she's here. Down in our books, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, since you're here, for, since you're here, Hawa, and we have HNF reunited in about 10 months on YouTube. Shame. <laughs> It's going to be a year in February, right? Yeah, right. yeah but, but then we're like coming me, back we with have uh, amazing videos. Like. Yeah. We are all waiting and we cannot wait. Not just so. one, but like several. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, say no more, say no more. <laughs> so, Hawa, uh, I would like to ask you. Yes. How did YouTube start out? Well, I mean, this all started out in our villa living area. <laughs> like after a few days or a week after we met and then we got talking and she was like, oh, you know what? I do these uh, videos, these thrilling videos and stuff. And I was like, oh, I do that too. She's like, oh, really? She's like, oh, YouTube, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, oh, it, it just, it just kind of happened. And I was just like, oh, let's start a channel. And I'm like, yeah, okay, okay, all right. I mean, it's going to be fun. And then we shot our first ever video and we had like, 10 first takes oh my god we it couldn't stop terrible. laughing like no one was there just us but we couldn't stop laughing it was it was good times it's <laughs> hard being behind camera it's harder than you would think yeah yeah you would think it would be easy but like it's so hard to stay serious for us <laughs> like yeah yeah i mean that is true starting starting out on youtube might be hard i remember my first video i did one take and you will see all the errors I made in that video. 
I didn't care. I wanted my channel to be as unscripted as it can be. To like see everything. It's not perfect. I don't have any people editing my videos. I don't have anyone filming my videos. I don't have a team doing anything for me. So I remember Fat Fatima said that the first video was the one that she doesn't want to watch again and that it was the cringiest one. Is that the one how was talking about? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, I think like the first five videos for me, I just, I mean, I feel like the cringiest video we did was, I can't remember the, the title of the video, but I remember being so cringed by our accents. Like I was dying. I was like, no, this is the worst Which one? ever YouTube video. I think it was the Q&A. Yeah, I think it was the Q&A. Was... Oh, the Q&A. So was like, it the one that had... So okay, so was it the one that had the Ed Sheeran song in it or not? Which one? Shape of You. I mean, most of us, our videos start with Shape of You. <laughs> we used to have this obsession with, with that song. You. Yeah. So yeah, does you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. You sure I didn't? Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure I didn't catch you in your in your room just thinking to that song? Okay. <laughs> You're out of the car though. Hey, return, return. Clearly, they can't see you. <laughs> so, um, this, the next thing I want to ask is, what was the what was your favorite video making on the channel? Hmm. Interesting. I would say, do I have one favorite? We had some really fun ones. Yeah. There was my birthday, right? That was fun to film. That was really, yeah. really fun to film. Yeah. But there was also was a, Muhammad's birthday. Oh yeah, that, that one had the feet. So that was to film too. Yeah. So was that what was that one the one on the yacht? Sorry. Was that the one on the yacht? Yeah, that was my birthday video. That was like it was such a fun day. Yeah. Wow, that explains it. I think oh, it's yeah, that's the best picture of the channel. Yeah, that was the that was the picture. That was the picture that I was telling you about. So it's like if you look at the channel, there's two of them. It looks like they're on the yacht in Dubai. It's like they're on the yacht. They're on Dubai. <laughs> oh, <all right. laughs> so how what's your what's what's the one thing that you achieve? I asked this question to Fatima. She said it was the views. Are you the same answer or is there something different? Let me see. On our YouTube, you mean, yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is the best thing we have achieved? I think if you would ask me, it was uh, one time we were at a wedding and then this girl keeps staring. <laughs> she's like staring at us and I'm like, Fatima, this girl is staring at us. And she's like, really and i'm like yeah she's like why is she staring and i'm like i don't know it's so weird like why is she staring <laughs> and then like five minutes later she comes up she's like hi you guys are each other right like yeah she's like oh can we take a picture and i'm like oh my god we're like, sure, yeah sure. i think i think that was the best thing about youtube <laughs> yeah i felt so cool then you know i was like oh so people actually watch yeah yeah and the comments too like the because comments, i know i yeah. watch a lot of good videos but i don't really take time to comment or anything so when people comment like it's really you know. Some people even take their yeah. time to like, mm -hmm. but don't get me wrong, the views are important too. I mean, yeah. views get you paid, so like, <laughs> that's great too. But yeah, yeah, views get you paid. But there, are some, <laughs> there are some people that like they don't care about the views now, they only care about making the content that they want to make, the content they would enjoy making rather yeah, than that's, you. that's great too. But yeah. I mean, you can have both, yeah, it's more, yeah. Not saying you can't, we're just saying. <laughs> but yeah. So, um, the, your most popular video on your channel, if I'm not wrong, let me just search back and make sure it's the right one. We're currently on the channel. And it's the Nigerian stereotypes, I heard a house of girls' views. Yeah, Could yeah. you explain what you're trying to talk about in the video? If, it, if anyone wants the first time. Okay, we were just trying to be funny with all the stereotypes going on on in Nigeria. It was in Nigeria or yeah, just Nigeria. Also, yeah, in Nigeria. And um, then I really can't remember the video much. 
But I know we're talking about different areas in Nigeria yeah. and how people. Yeah. So the thing is, you know, them. like in Nigeria, we have so many like tribes, and a lot of people they don't really know about each other, especially like how I feel like all people from the south they're like, oh, so you guys have this in the north, and I'm like, what? You know? <laughs> so I don't know. It's like they don't really see our own view on things. So we're like, okay, you know, this is interesting. I've never seen a video about what a Hausa girl actually believes about other culture stereotypes, you know? Like, do they believe it or not? So we're like, okay, cool. Let's film the video. But you know what's funny about, you know what's funny about that? The fact that you're talking about the video, and if I was like, wait, I don't even remember that video. I'm like, wait, how can you remember that video when that video has 4,000 views? Yeah. Yeah. people still watch that yeah. video yeah i mean it's shocking and i just feel like it, it it goes to show you how a lot of people maybe are interested in like i don't know some sort of mindset or thinking or what goes on in the house girl's head yeah. but there aren't so many videos out there and i feel like that's what actually attracts people to that particular video i think since people watch that video yeah i think we should make it like a niche our right. own views exactly yeah, yeah right like uh, that's a good idea actually yeah because you know your culture and how you were brought up it kind of like uh, shapes how you think as like you know a person so yeah. yeah so alongside doing youtube what was the most difficult thing that that you have to do during youtube or anything that gave you so much of a challenge editing and then posting after editing i i cannot stress this much we can editing. film a thousand videos but we to have sit a down thousand videos and to put it together <laughs> and then post it yeah. it's like yo i don't i, think, I don't even know why that i think so we hard. have like five to six videos that we have edited. edited they're just sitting yeah like maybe we should long. just post them <laughs> like that <laughs> honestly like like i don't know why we find editing so hard maybe we should get someone who should help with that but, but the thing is, we, we just love like personalizing it, and yeah, yeah, yeah. and but, you yeah. never know like what people would do. I and mean, you don't know, maybe you want this scene to be cut out, and then someone would just put it in the video. And yeah, it's it's, it's like, like I feel like that's why it's so hard because it's very personalized. Like, she doesn't edit alone, we edit together. So, to yeah. find that time to kind of like do everything together the way we both want it, yeah, like that's difficult. But the good thing is, we know that's our problem. So 2020, we know exactly what it is we need to make. New year, no new procrastinating <laughs> editing videos. I think we should start editing our videos after this. Yeah, I agree. Honestly. Mm -hmm. Motivation. Motivation. <laughs> editing videos. You know, I never understood that problem because I made videos. And I've made videos to the point where you look at some part I put in my video, you start to think, how did he do that? How do you add the black bars? How do you make things pop up? How do you make a video just at that corner? So it's like, I don't, like, some people, they just use one editing software to edit the videos, mm -hmm. where I use two. So one is just to make the video, the other one is to add the sound effects and the bars and the uh, pop-ups, to just pop up in the video. And then once I do those, I send them onto the normal video editing software to edit the videos and then post them onto YouTube. So when you say posting them, is the connection that bad, depending where you are? I mean, it, yeah, well, I don't know if it's the connection, but it, I don't know, it it's just takes so long slow, to yeah. upla upload a video. And sometimes you kind of leave it and then maybe the laptop's something and you come back and then it's yeah, corrupted it's or yeah. something else. I don't know what goes on with our videos, but like, that's just so stressful. Because then you have to do it all over again. And then sometimes you'll be like, okay, so this is going live. We have to prepare our minds. We have to set this <laughs> like, okay, you have to advertise this. Like you have to tell people there's a new video out. So that alone is stress. Yeah. I hate yeah, doing it. So whenever yeah, I do something, yeah. I'm just like, okay, so I have to tell people that it's now. Oh, go watch our videos. Oh, yeah. Watch. I mean, That's I don't mind so that stressful. part, but I feel like... The, editing really gets yeah but i think since youtube did a good thing they added the schedule schedule video when you're posting oh, it yeah. you, know, you can either have it be live in two hours live in five hours live tomorrow 
or two days down, even even a year. True. So I think that one would help you both. Yeah, that's it. I, I feel like that's what bloggers do, like daily bloggers. That's no problem. And that's that's really convenient. Yeah. I should have asked. I should have asked this question from the start, and it's the same mistake I did with Fatima, but I forgot to ask. Where are you living now and what state are you from? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, well, now I live in Dubai because I am studying there. Yeah, well, like, I'm from Kano. Ah, Kano. <laughs> hey, Khalil, the Kanawa have made it. <laughs> <laughs> we have, we have Katanawa, we have Kanawa, and the Kaduna, well, I know, we don't even know what to call Kaduna people. <laughs> No, sorry, it's from Yobi. From Yobi. Yeah. I know. Yobi Lobi. <laughs> <laughs> so, 400 subscribers. What's the goal by the end of the year? One million. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> Anything can happen. happen. I mean, with the way we're going, you know, like, actually, we're surprised about how many people keep asking, like, videos yeah. and the amount of people that keep subscribing. It's like, Even if it's like you know what, if we take this, you know, a little bit more serious, like, anything is possible. I believe that. Yes. Yeah. Anything is possible. Because I remember when I started, when I started the 2019 year, I had, had like 840 subscribers. And I said, let's see if I can get to 2,000 subscribers. Forget the 1,000 because that one will come soon. Let's see if I can get to 2,000. And I ended the year with 4,300. Which I'm still mind blown about it. Yep. Okay, yeah. But you know determination and consistency. Yeah. Determination, consistency, you know, all those good job. But now I've got to four thousand on my main channel. I was like, let me let this channel rest for a bit. I want to go to my second channel. Let me put more videos there. Is that ninety subscribers? I want to have a lot of subscribers. So let's see. I know you can reach up to a hundred subscribers. It might take a while because I don't <laughs> post as much in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Question for how what? Um, actually, this is a question for both of you. Have you seen my video of the 10 most subscribed how to YouTube of 2019? Uh, not yet, actually. Yeah. Okay, I won't spoil anything. I'll let you. I'll let you see the video. Okay. <laughs> I remember in the 2018 one when I, when I told Fatima about it, she said that even though you guys haven't made the list. You were glad that your channel was mentioned in another person's channel and video. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. it was really nice. Yeah. yeah. Because nowadays, it's like, not really now, it's like, when the community we are, people just make videos and just do it themselves. They don't really talk about anyone else, it's just themselves. And it's no problem, but I'm just thinking if more, if more YouTubers got involved and did things together, we could create something we never thought we we could do. I agree. Because yeah. there are a lot of upcoming YouTubers. Like, so many people are into YouTube now. And I'm just like, oh, wow. It's, it's, of course, there's so many of them. And then there are other YouTubers that that are there. And you had no idea they existed. And you have, like, maybe a decent number of subscribers. But because no one is talking about them or haven't even heard of them that's how they're not being recognized as much yeah. as they deserve to yeah. i mean that that's correct because i know people that post really good videos. like they take their time to edit and you know film good content but then they're not really recognized yeah and i feel like with like the kind of environment you have if you're not popular with people and i mean popular with people in person yeah. like even if people watch your videos, they might not bother to, you know, be like, oh, this is actually this person. It's just like, oh, another person with a nice video on YouTube, you know? Yeah. 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 Elena, would you like to ask some questions? You've been very quiet so far. Come well, on. There you go. I don't really have any questions, but like... Get involved with the conversation. Oh, okay, I have a question. Okay. When you first started, like, your YouTube channel as Hitler Vlogs, like, 
were used like feeling like nervous at the time. Like, like be in front of so many people watching a YouTube channel. We were the, I think we were the most nervous people. We were nervous down to the color of our headscarf, to the shirt, to the... I mean, if you look at the video, you're probably going to be like, it's like the plainest video, but oh my God. We were nervous about every single thing. We were nervous about the way our teeth moved, okay? <laughs> like, it was very, it was Everything, very nerve-wracking. Yeah. yeah. Very nerve-wracking. And then the video was such low quality. <laughs> I think that's how it is with every first meeting. Yeah. Like, that was so low quality. I'm like, low quality. They will be all yeah. through the was chicken. No, but like, you know, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Like, we look back at that and then we look back at our latest video and we're like, you know what? We've tried. Yeah. I'm like, we've come a long way. I mean, not a long way, but we've come some way, you know, from oh, that. Oh, oh. So, like, how many years would you say you, you two have done YouTube so far? Two, three? Three. Three years. Oh, three years. Because I think your oh, first video uh, I think your first video was uploaded in late 2016. Uh no, um April twenty seventeen. I think fourth April twenty seventeen. Oh, fourth fourth of April twenty seventeen. Yeah. Only three days past April, fools. <laughs> so if you made your channel on the first of April, it's a April Fools. We're not even doing this for as a real thing. <laughs> Oh, what did that mean? <laughs> I said, did you April Fool's again? What actually, like... <laughs> <laughs> no, first video will be April Fool's. <laughs> <laughs> we're here, but we're not here. <laughs> Are we? Oh, yeah. We love you, baby. <laughs> we have a viewer called Ibrahim Abdul Salam saying hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> He's from Ivory Coast. Oh, oh wow. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. And he's saying, in Amoku Fatan Al Haiti. Oh, thanks. Let's get into the next topic, okay. which is the 2010 decade. If you could <laughs> if you could have one word to describe this decade, what would that word be? The 2010 decade? Yes, so from 2010 to 2019. <coughs> Growth. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> you got one, Kendall? I mean, like, this decade to me was like, it was like, it's just like strange. It is strange, but not at the same time, it was like, it is good. So, like, I enjoyed it. Even though it's strange, you know what I mean? Yeah, just it's just it. something that just came along i i just liked it oh trust me Kelly, we have seen <laughs> stranger things in life <laughs> if you get that it's like a word for me well this is going to be my third decade basically i think my word would be nostalgic i don't know like yeah there's a lot of childhood memories you know like you have this nostalgic feeling yeah like yeah well, you know for like my childhood doesn't. I live for a decade. Decade. Um, one, two. Yeah, you you've existed in two decades. Not that you lived for two decades. You've yes. existed in two decades. In two, the two thousand decade, twenty ten decade, and the two thousand twenty decade. I've existed. I've existed in four decades. So, <laughs> well, I've I've, yeah, I've existed in four decades. So, the nineteen nineties. The 2000s, the 2010s, and 2020s. Well, this from, I mean, like, this from only started. I mean, I know it started, but if you say you've existed in a number of decades, so like you've existed in the 90s, you've existed oh, yeah. in the 2000s, the 2010s, and 2020s, that, make, that makes sense. Well, I just go back to your century. Here's, here's <laughs> a fact. When this decade started, he was four years old. Oh wow! Yes, when the decade started, you were four. Yeah. Now you're fourteen. No, it's actually strange when you actually think back many years ago. Like <coughs> in 2010, you were at this point, you were in this country. You have no idea where you're gonna go through 
You didn't know what you're gonna do. You had no idea who you're gonna be on YouTube. You had no ideas. Hundreds and thousands of people will be watching you. You had no idea <laughs> all this was gonna come. You had no idea you were even going to blow up my face. I mean, to be very honest, like even just at the end of the decade, December 31st, we had no idea we'd be talking about World War Three. <laughs> literally, literally, like, literally. Oh, okay. Um, this is a bit interesting. Yeah, what is it? Yo, Mohammed. Mohammed. Stop yes. hey. oh, What do you want? What is it, Mohammed? Look, look, we'll let you in when you finish, okay? Kill it, kill it, kill it. Come down. Hold on. Kill it, let me. Are you wait, Kill it, hold on. Let me talk to you. Oh, wow. Oh, somehow they, they lost connection. So, Kelly, okay, before they come back, let's let's continue talking. If you have one word to describe this decade, what would it, what would it have been? So you said it was strange. good, but it was strange at the same time. Yeah, strange and, good. you know, good. But mysterious as well. If I had one word to describe this decade, I would say mixed. Because, I mean, you would agree as well, mixed. Yeah, I would say mixed as well, because like, you know, good things have, had, have happened for me. And, bad you know, things have happened as well. Bad things have happened as well, like maybe like, you know, so important people, you know, have to win and that. Yeah, for sure. Many come, many go. So, what what was your favorite year of this decade? I twenty sixteen. Do I think I have one? Two thousand sixteen for how long? Yeah. I can't choose. Can't. <laughs> I didn't even have to think about that. Twenty sixteen, hands down. <laughs> I have the next question in my head, but I'll come to that one. My favorite year was two thousand and twelve. Mm. Yeah, it was 2012. Just because good things have happened to me that year. Not even one bad thing happened to me that, that year. Just 2012. Even you might say even 2013 is up for contention as well. I'm saying 2012. What about you, Kelly? My favorite year is 2013. Why is that? Because like that that's what that's what my that's why our little baby brother Muhammad was born. Oh yeah, that's when Muhammad was born. Like, I really want a little baby brother. Like, really. <laughs> are you sure? Are yeah. You, nah, Kale, I'm pretty sure you said you wanted to be the out of town. You wanted to be the last. Okay, I did want that, but like, you know, I just had to face it. <laughs> I was like, I was really happy when he was born. I was like, oh yes, I have, I have a. I have a baby brother, and you know. I yeah, did you to have a little brother who looks better than you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. To be honest, like I don't really know, cause but like he's little, yeah. Yeah. I like, you know. Yeah. Okay. Here's here is here's the next question. What was your worst year of this decade? The worst. The year you don't want to look back at ever again. It was just terrible. Or the least best. I mean, like, a year is a long time to... 
categorize it as best or worst. Yeah, That's okay. like, I think for me, it might be 2011, 2011. I think that Ooh. was, I think. Oh, 2011. Oh, we're going back. We're going way back. Yeah. We're going back to secondary school times, I secondary think. Uh, <laughs> to you. I mean, same, same, thing with, same thing with her, most likely. Uh, I'll say, like, I don't know. I'll say, like, pre nursery. No, I'll say, like, pre nursery. No, I'll say, like, pre nursery. I'll say, like, how what you call it? The pre nursery. But no, I was, I was actually in nursery one. Okay, pre nursery one. No, I was in nursery one. Nursery one. My worst year of this decade. Let's see. Okay, let's allow them to finish. Okay. My worst year of this decade is 2017. It started off well, but then once it reached a certain time, just bad things just happened to me. I didn't I had so much expectations, but then I was left disappointed. I just I just didn't enjoy the year in general. So I just said throw 2017 in the bin, then we look back at it. I think my least favorite year is 2019. Oh, that's what I was, that was what 2018. Was, yeah. Yeah, 2019. I mean, 2011 was my worst, so 2019 was not very good. Actually. Yeah, I was, <laughs> was just not like, very good. No. Yeah, it was. I can't do yeah. this. <laughs> 2019. Yeah, oh my God, we're 2020. Keep forgetting it, but it must be 2018. Can you tell me the podcast? They're looking for you. I'll be back. Hey. Yeah, because oh. honestly, 2019 was just meh. But then we thank God. We thank God. I think my worst year is that. Yeah. Oh, so it's cold. Oh. oh, okay. So, like, my worst chair was like 2018. Why? Oh, sorry, we're not asking why. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, like, at the start, it was good. But then, like, when I got to secondary school first year, it's like my, my teachers were just like really strict. And that uh, they gave a lot of homework, and, you know. But then, like, later on, it's like, it got, like, so much work, because, like, because, like, my, my, one of my aunties passed, which yeah. is, like, also, like, really hard for my mom. And, oh. and also, like, later on, like, my, my, my uncle passed as well from cancer. And it's just, I felt really bad. I just couldn't handle it. Like, one of the worst things that happened as well was my grandmother passed away. It, it left my mom crying. Like, she just couldn't stop crying. And when I heard that, I just, you know, I broke down. Just, just couldn't handle it. I can imagine. They're in a better place, inshallah. Yeah, imagine I mean, when you look back at the decades, we had new people. We had new people coming, and old ones leaving. Leaving, as in, you just don't talk to them anymore. Others are passed. But that—that that is the life we live in. Life's not fair. It's not. And, never and it probably probably will never be fair for the rest of our days. It's just getting worse and worse. Each it's just day. getting worse. After every day, everything we've talked about in, in in the third and fourth, I mean the fourth episode, it's not yeah. getting better, and that's unfortunate. It is. I mean, there's World War Three coming up. Hopefully not. <laughs> so as we enter the new decade and a new year, the most 
obviously ask questions at the, at, the new, at the beginning of every year. Yeah. What is the New Year's resolution for everyone? <laughs> no year, no year, no year, no New Year's resolution. My new, my New Year resolutions. New Year, new me. That's just it. Just our run by. New Year, new decade, same me. I remain the same. Nothing, nothing changes. You think you're looking for a new person? Think again. You will see me tomorrow. Exactly. Like now, I need to get like a diary, um, the one that has dates in it, and then I'll put like every goal I should achieve each month. And I think that's my new year resolution. I should achieve all my goals. What are my goals? <laughs> I should achieve all my goals. What am I going to But yeah, that's good. I think like setting out your goals and seeing like mapping out a plan of exactly yeah. how you want to get. I think that's the best way to achieve ensure that you do something. That's, that's great. That's amazing. Yeah. And then this year, in six months, we'll be done with uni. Khalil, you have any New Year's resolution or are you just the same as me? New Year, same me. <laughs> it's like, one of my New Year's resolutions is that, you know, I really want to change myself. Like, when I say change myself, like, I'm 14 years old now. Like, when I was 13, I felt like, you know, like, everybody else was, like, 13 and that. But, like, I'm 14. I feel like I've actually, like, grown up. I like, and I don't, I don't, I want to be like dependent. Like, I don't want anybody helping me anymore with like school and, and homework and that. Like, I, I just want to like live my own life, like without anybody interrupting me. Oh, you think you dream, you, you can continue dreaming. <laughs> Even if you're in Nigeria, Kelly, you want even if you're 40 years old and you say you want to be dependent, your mother will still tell you you're still a child. <laughs> well, honestly, because she's older than you, that's how she still sees it. I mean, of course, see, that's how she still sees it, but in the eyes, you're still a child. <laughs> well, I think I'm just going to be a copycat. I think I'm what you're doing. I think right. it's down in set down my goals and then map out exactly how I'm going to get to them and achieve them yeah such a good idea but hey Khalil anything is possible as long as you believe am I right I want, like a unicorn yeah. that... my mom always <laughs> 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 hey Khalil ca carry on carry on just have to take a little bit carry on wait carry on wait, wait. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I should actually don't know. Like, this, like, this decade to me, like, it's like, it's something that I like, but that at the same time is something that I don't really want, want to go through again. Because it's like, like some some of the some parts of the year like i i suffered like i suffered losses or you know i just struggled with things like for example like i really struggled with my work in the first year i didn't like it i wanted to move to another school but then but then at the same time you know my friends because my friends like i really wanted to stay there i really wanted to stay in the school to like be with them and you know sadly some some of my friends they left the school because of like their parents or you know they just wanted to go to another school yeah. and i missed them. but you know that's that's 
the good thing about experiences and lessons like there are things that you glad you went through but you wouldn't go through again because they kind of made you who you are right yeah from experience yeah it's true <laughs> It's so accurate. Yeah, yeah. Like you don't want to go to them. But what are you doing? That's true. Oh. Then that's life. Like, it's a new decade. There's ten more years before the other decade. So what's going to happen in their life? Yeah. yeah, it's so scary. Like, what's going to happen? Inshallah, we're going to graduate. <laughs> yeah, like that one is this year. I'm just Law thinking school. about. <laughs> But I get you. Yeah, it's like, just such a long time. It is. And with so many possibilities. Yeah. And it's you see scary. time. I see possibilities. <laughs> oh, wow. That was so cheesy. You see 10 years. Damn. I see 50 goals to achieve. Imagine. <laughs> trying to do philosophical or something. I, I shouldn't be um a pessimist here. <laughs> so I'll just keep quiet. What are you doing? Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Why are you moving like that? That's how Janet was clean, right? But you're not a janitor. I know. I like it. Okay. You don't live in the school. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. I, I think I'm planning to. I think I might make a new video on my account. I'm really planning to make another one. So, Mikaela, we're all waiting on a new video of yours. But like this was gonna be like. What's it? Oh, we need to get. Okay, you guys. It's been an awesome. Time with you guys. Thank you so yeah. much for having me. But I kind of have an appointment at four, and it's three thirty already. Yeah. Okay, you have an appointment. All right, so we'll let you go. Just with the final question, okay. I didn't want an offer. If you answer yes or no, it's okay. We don't mind. <laughs> it still will go on at the end of the day. Here's the question: okay. What? How would I love to join the HYP gang? <coughs> I mean, I mean, no matter what happens, we'll still go on. We won't be heartbroken. We'll be, <laughs> I mean, emotionally strong. Well, Fatima here has already convinced me to join the HYP gang. So I would be, I would love to be part of the gang. All right, come on, give me a round of applause. Come on, come on, let's do it. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> hey. Welcome to the HYP. How are you? Did that? Yes. Oh, I mean, okay. that's my surname, but like, that's her nickname. Yeah, it's. Oh, I have a nickname. So, what's the full name? Or is that how are Ibrahim? Oh, how are Ibrahim? <coughs> Wait, so we have how are Ibrahim and then Fatima Ibrahim. You know what? Hmm, yeah. Is there something going on? We're cousins. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> They're cousins. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Anyways, thank you, Howard, for being thank you, Howard, for being on on the podcast, thank being you, our man. first guest, and then transitioning into a member. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about this more in a discreet Instagram group chat. <laughs> okay, all right, no problem. Thank you so right. much for being here. Thank, thank you. We'll, right, we'll, we'll see you. We'll see you soon. All right. You can go ahead. See you. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this episode of the podcast. If you did enjoy it, please give it a give it a if there's any topics you want us to talk about, let us know. And if there's any topics you want us to talk about, there's a link to where you can put your topics in the description of the video or in the description of the podcast. And the podcast is available on Apple Podcasts and Spotify and Deezer as well. We will have the link to those in the description very soon. And it'll, the podcast will be available on Google Podcasts soon as well. Thank you for thank you for watching and listening. We'll see you next time. Se anjumonku.
Goodbye.